Hey everybody, uh, here we are Friday, February 26th, 2016. I just got home from work and at my door was my N-Scope. It came in the mail from uh, the Kickstarter campaign. This thing was out of the box and running in just like three minutes. It was incredible, it was very, very polished. The box that came in was uh, pretty sweet too. We had the uh, N-Scope box here, it was very, very polished. And uh, yeah, I've been waiting on, on this for a while. I'm really, really stoked about it. It also came with uh, this little handy-dandy uh, ruler with some electronics details and things like that. But this thing basically turns your everyday uh, laptop into a full-featured uh, O-scope and electronics lab. And uh, I'm going to show you the software here. I have an uh, analog output here. Let's see if we can focus on it. Analog 1 is wired into channel 1. And pulse output number one which is the white wire is wired into channel two and I have the software running here for you. Uh, software is very very simple to use took two seconds to install very happy with it. Um, here you can see we have the analog output is going at one kilohertz and it is uh, voltage is 1.75 volts it's a unipolar right now I can click this bipolar button and then suddenly it'll go plus minus five volts uh, that's the input range and output range on the whole device, so here's 3 volts. Um, we can switch to a triangle wave, for example. Right now we're triggering on the rising edge of channel 1, but I could switch over to the pulse train, triggering on the rising edge of channel 2, and that's that green guy here. So here's the pulse output. I can just turn it off, and then the trigger goes away. Turn it back on. I can uh, set the frequency to be higher, so now the frequency is at 2.63 kilohertz. I can set the duty cycle to be lower, and now you can see that the... Uh, Duty cycle goes down on the green guy. I can grab the trigger line here and I can just kind of move it around. That actually would make more sense to do on the uh, sine wave or the uh, triangle wave. You can see the triangle wave move around as I move the trigger there. Uh, on the right side here we have the uh, run control so I can hit single and we get a single image. I see that I'm outputting only 0.49 watts on the device which is fantastic because uh, you don't want to overload your USB. This thing keeps track for you and I'm sure it shuts off if it gets too high, but I guess I haven't tested that yet. Uh, you got your volts per division here. We go back to run, and then basically just kind of slide this thing up, and you change your uh, scaler on your uh, volts on the y-axis here. So yeah, N-Scope just came out of the box, and it's just crushing. I'm really, really a fan for, uh, bought this thing, I think the Kickstarter backing was like something like 100 bucks or something like that, and you know, uh, most people spend three to four hundred dollars for stuff like this, and uh, it's a power supply too. So, yeah, really, really, really happy with this device, and I can't wait to buy one for everybody at my office. To be honest with you, thanks for watching.